Uh, hey, man, Middle School, we're for our second lesson this week. We're going we're to do a figure drawing of a fox. We're going to focus on a few of the elements of art as we do this. We're going to go over those now. The elements of art are going to include texture, value, gradation, line, and shape. And we went over some of these last week with gradation and value. We're going to use them again this week. And we'll try to mention them as we go through the drawing. We'll take you through it step by step. And as you, do, as you view the video, you can stop and start as you please and take your time with it. I'm going to move this down, I'm going to put our, our drawing, move this down out of the way and start a drawing. Now I've already got the fox sketched out, as you can see, kind of light, but I'm going to darken so that uh, for the same time, so I'm going to darken it up one line at a time. Just follow along with me, we'll do a nice contour drawing first, which means an outline, then we'll start to fill it in with some texture and values as we go. Alright, to begin with, near the top of your paper, we're going to set this thing up one thing at a time, one line at a time, near the top of your paper, I'm going to start with a simple diagonal line, something about like that. Just a diagonal line near the top of your paper. Save yourself from room up here for the ears, body down here. All right, again, one line at a time. I'm going to go from there, I'm going to move on down, just a little short horizontal line. Nothing to it. Now, after I get that, I'm going to skip back. I'm going to go kind of fast, but it's like I said, you can slow it down and start and stop as you need to. I'm going to go back. Get the top of the fox's nose. You notice I've got a little bit of a curl right there. It's where my other eye, where my eye's gonna be right here. Now the nose, I'm gonna work out like a little triangle, triangle shape right here. Something real simple. Again, you can do one thing at a time when you get when you get when you use this video. Now I'm gonna come down, around, and up and around. This is kind of like a stretched out S shape. Come down from the center of the nose, down slightly, vertically, and then and Curve around and back around. Real simple. Now the other side of his nose, you want to get that too. So we're going to come over here. Give this a little curve. Cuts back in. Nothing to it. Real simple. Okay, now the bottom lid. We're going to show that a little bit. So we're going to right here, but in the center. Let's get us a little bump right there. A little hump. we got it covered. Fox is, is kind of like a small dog. Just we got some different ears kind of bigger on other than that. About the same thing. All right. And we've got the, the front of the nose set up. We're going to do some real light lines. The end, you got the triangle part of the nose right here. Light line that kind of comes up about right here, let's say. So we'll set up our other eye here in a few minutes. All right, now working again, still trying to get all the head and the face set up. We'll go from the, the curve you have right here. We'll go over, curve back down to where his mouth will lead into his neck. Now, we're going to work on this right eye right here. Real simple eye. We went over the eye in class and how to draw it. The human eye, kind of the same thing with the fox. We're going to start right here at the end of this line we made a minute ago. We're going to think about where it's at compared. The other eye's going to be right here. We're going to think about where this one's at compared to that. So you want to go kind of level. So I'm going to give me a line that goes up. Curls back down, something like that. About the same way you start a human eye. We do that, we're going to start with a, fine, with a little point in the middle at the beginning. Round up a little bit, go back up into itself. Don't go all the way to the end, just kind of cut back up into itself. Now the inside, the round part of the eye, remember it's as round as you can get it, but you won't see the whole thing, just like you're drawing a human eye. So get that little circle in there, and also get a little, a little circle in there, about like that, about a half circle for the, uh, the pupil. And we're going to leave that a little bit, we'll move on. Actually, let's do one more thing there. On the corner of his eye, let's stretch it down it's a little bit. A little dark streak's going to be there for you, the fox. All right. Now, moving on, we're going to go with it, work our ears down. Let's go to the top. And the top of the headline, we're up the diagonal up here. I'm going to kind of stretch, I'm going to curve that around. Bring it up. Just curve it around, bring it up. Take your time. Just like I say, just start and stop as you need to. Now, once I've done that, on the left side of it, Come down, get a little, little jogged in line right there, come down the top of his head. Nothing you can't do, pretty simple. All right, let's go to the right. Now this is just the inside of the ear. We're gonna put a lot of texture and color in that eventually. So let's scoot over just a little bit about right in here, let's say. Let's get a little thickness on the ear now. Let's put something about like that, be fine. A little, just a little thickness. Okay, you've got this. Moving on, still, like I said, I'm trying to move on kind of quick for time. I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to go up. Get this ear to a little bit higher up than that one. A little bit of a roundness on the end. I'm going to go around. Something about like that. Okay, we've got this. Now let's start at the front of this one. This is a different direction. The ear's a little different direction. We'll start kind of wide here at the bottom. 
Make an effort to get to the top. Maybe come around a bit and leave it right there for right now. All right. Now we'll move around to the front of the, of the, the fox's breast and down toward his tail. He's going to be sitting down. So we'll start right here with kind of a jagged line. Just take your pencil, zigzag it around a little bit, get you a little jagged line coming down. And let's go down kind of a curve all the way to about right here. So start off level, curve out for his chest and come down. Now on the back side, you got some texture just in and out areas. Same thing, we'll start with a little, little jagged line that will come down. Let's say something like that. Maybe out a little farther where his shoulder would hit right there. Go down his back. And we'll put like a little curve to it right there. Where it's going to show where his butt's going to start right there and fit off to his tail. All right. Now we'll set up his leg here and his other leg over here. Although his tail, let's just go ahead and do the tail first. We'll start right here with the tail. We'll say we're, here's where we ended with the with the with the, the bottom. We'll bring that on down. Let's say about right there and curve something like that. But once I've done that, we'll go to the right left up here. We'll put a little jagged line for that tail. Bring it over. Let's say something about like that. Bring this all together. Like I said, you can work on this shape a little bit as you go. Bring it down to a point right here. You can work on that. Take your time with it. All right, we've got this. Now let's work on those legs. Let's start up here with his tail. We've got, we've got to have his front legs here. Have part of his rear leg here maybe. But right now we're just going to work on his front leg. We're going to go maybe right here and come down. Got the shoulder right here, let's see. Put it right there. And then let's hit the other leg on the other side, maybe maybe curve a little bit, put it right there, be fine. That probably enough, probably won't get his rear leg. I'll tell you his rear leg, we'll just believe that. Alright, this gives us a good basic contour drawing, which means an outline drawing of what we've got so what we're gonna do with this box so far. Now we'll start to darken things up now. We'll start adding we'll start adding values, texture, and all that to what we've used so far, we've used line. Uh, the contour line, actually contour means an outline. We've created shapes to bring together, together what we've got right here. Now we're going to work on texture, value, and gradation. Again, work at your own pace with this. Now some things I'm going to dark, I'm going to work on, like we said last week about contrast. I'm going to try to work it, pick out some areas that know I'm going to have some really dark color. I'm going to stand I'm going to start with the nose first. I'm going to say the nose will be fairly dark. This is just for memory. So I'm going to take my pencil. Kind of get it on the side and work a little dark color on that nose. I may need like a little light area right in the middle of it, but fairly dark. Press down hard to pencil. Don't be afraid to press down with it. For the nose, that's one area dark color. The eyes. Now, a fox is going to have the color part of his eye, or the brown, blue, or green part in our eyes, will be kind of light on his. I'm going to make it real heavy, thick, and dark right in front of the circle of his eye right there. Just a little bit right there. His pupil. I'm going to make it perfectly round. Just going to kind of make a half a circle. I'm going to make that really dark too. The outline around his eye kind of thick and dark. You want his eye to be real dramatic and really show up. That little, that little area coming back from the corner of his eye will bring that down his face a little bit, kind of dark. Now here's where we use values. We've got the real dark there, but now I'm going to kind of, and I can scoop that up a little bit so you can see, maybe see the eye a little bit better. Uh, now we'll add some light gray in there because the, the top part of his eyes will cast the shadow on the bottom part, that his eyeball. I'm going to put a pencil on the side, like I showed you last week. Give me a little bit of color in there, like that. On this left side over here, same thing. You got, you're not going to see as much of the eye because it's, 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 the nose is blocking it off. I'm just going to give it like a little dark streak right there. Just enough to indicate there's an eye over there, but you can't really see a lot of detail. Something like that will be fine. All right, now, let's start to add some more color and detail up here. We'll go start with this ear first. Lay your pencil on the side. We'll give it a real light to medium gray. Let's say the inside of his ear will be shaded a little fairly, a fair amount, so we'll do kind of like that right there. On the other ear over here, we'll do the same thing. Let's say along that inside edge, we'll have a lot of shading. Like that. Now, when I do that, the parts that's really behind the fold of the ear right here will be really, really dark, so I really want to press down hard there. I want to see a, a difference in color level there. In other words, there are values where you have a variety of color. 
And also, like last week, we're going to try to use gradation because we're going to blend out that real dark out into the light near the edge of his ear. Now, right here at the very edge, and we'll leave a little white paper there because I want to look like the light's hitting just a little bit. And also, here on this edge, what I'm going to oh, well, do that in a minute. Over here, we'll go around the end, same thing. On the inside edge, darker. And lighten up as I work my way out. You can see already these eyes, these ears should be coming to life a little bit. We'll bring that liner down just a little bit, show a little separation between the ears. When I do that, give me a little bit of color there. As well. Alright. Now, Fox generally has like a pat like a like a patch of different color hair around his eyes. So we'll kind of start right here. About a medium gray. Something like that, real simple to do. Same thing on the other side. Come down on his nose. This is, again, this gives the ground touch last week. We had to hold your pencil on the side. We're just using a little bit of light gray to do this. I'm going to work my way around different areas on his face where I think it needs a little thick, little light gray color. The entire nose right there. Underneath his mouth right here, you will see some really dark color there first, but the, the his jaw skin will hang down and cause some darker shadows. So I'm going to put that right there. A little darker first to lighten up. Now, I'm going to start working on actual hair on him now. What I mean, up here at the ear, take my pencil and I'm going to flick it. Here's what I mean by that. Instead of just going like this, colored on hair, let my pencil kind of flow and flick it. You get real fine points at the end. It's more like hair in the picture. What I'm going to do is start about right here. And create like actual hair to come out the edge of his ear there. And you can do those lines all on the inside. Like that. Same thing over here. Just add a little extra touches that makes him look a little bit more realistic. And when I do that, I'm also going to think about around the eyes and stuff now again. We'll go back and have a little color, let's say, right under here. A little bit darker. And also we'll have some hair there too, so we'll kind of work on some really light right around his nose right here. Let it go, let it go past the lines. Over here, let it go past the edge of his. Let it, let it stick out past the outline drawing that we did to start with. That way it looks natural. And we'll kind of keep working on that, keep building on that. That way it looks, I'm going to curve it over in there, work on the eye a little bit. Down the nose, it's going to wrap around the nose. So I'm getting some little fine lines of wrapping around the nose. Anything to make it look a little bit more realistic if you can. Now, up here at the top, we'll say we've got some of the hair going this way, some going that way, some sort of about right here. There's several lines that are working its way up, uh, working their way up the paper. In the nose, you can leave a little light right there to show like he's stuck the lights hitting there. And I'm going to read that. When I've done that, that kind of disappeared with this little paper part of here, so I'm going to re-darken that a little bit. Just a little bit darker so it shows up. Same thing over here. Right this little bottom lip, darken that up, and get the front of the nose. Then we'll go around the edge, just generally get this a little darker on the edge. All right. Now, you also have like a, a white, his, his breast here will be white, and it's like a white like fur goes around there. So what I'm going to do is kind of give you some lines, little heavy lines that are going to, going to come around, kind of like that on his jawbone. Now these are kind of dark. You see this zigzag the pencil went around through his shoulders down here? Bring it above there, maybe end it about right in there. And when I do that, I'm going to extend down in that light gray for off of that. Still want to make it look as realistic as possible. So I'm creating that hair again right through there. Still going out, out the end. I'm not going to try to do the entire fox with the hair, but just what I can. All right, now right here underneath the mouth, this, I'm going to redarken that line there. Give me some darker shadow there, because that neck, that, that his, his uh, head will cast a shadow on his neck. 
bring that down. Again, really dark right here to show some contrast between this and, and the neck. Really dark. Press down, create hair on the edge, a little texture. I want to lead that over into really the light where that, that breast collar is, where it's on its chest. I don't want to go in too much on that bottle too much. Just give me some curl lines that kind of go with that. Like that. Now, the part where I did get that little zig dark zigzag line there, I'm going to re-darken that a little bit. And we'll go off of that with some light gray. Now this, I'm going to maybe turn my pencil on the side, maybe use a little bit more coloring there than, than just the fine lines. Trying to draw from one side, which is a little bit difficult, but we'll get it. We only want these videos to be about 25 minutes or so. All right. Now, working on the back side, still working on some, use some more texture there, just some repeated shapes, some darker lines, things like that to make it look like it stands out. All right, now, down at the bottom, where his front shoulder's at and stuff, and we'll make that really dark, too, because this will be on the other side of his body right here. Using that pencil, pressing down fairly hard. Get a little dark color there. Get a little dark color really right, right just above the tail, all the way across, kind of even, even on his shoulder. And right here, though, we'll go with the light gray and some hairline. You know, make it look textured, like that. All right, now the shoulder. You want to get a little bit of color in front of that shoulder so it really shows where it's at. Again, you can work this at your own pace. Don't get been out of shape. It looks like it's going to be hard. You can take your time. A little bit of color on the other side of your shoulder there. When you do that, remember those hairlines. Bring it on down. Follow the shape. Follow the shoulder in. Just get some more of those lines that work their way down all the way to the tail. that and in here just with this I'm just kind of sweeping my pencil a certain pattern just kind of go with the shape of his body so we get down here to the tail all right now the tail tail's gonna be nice and fluffy so we're gonna have more lines with it more hair lines what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start right here we've got the shape of the tail I'm gonna start with some thicker Lines that are going in the direction of the tail. See thicker, still take them around with the tail. Something like that. Come down here at the bottom, kind of the same thing. These are just all doing short, short choppy lines. Indicate hair on the tail. Have a little curl there on the end. Now, Start off dark. Now I'm just going to kind of color, but basically using the side of my pencil with some light gray. We want different values. Again, going with the shape of the tail, curve right around with it. Same thing over here to the right. Come down. Get it all tying together. Now, this back side here. Give me a few more darker lines there, and I'm going to start my pencil starting to get some dull on me, but... Alright. Now here's a basic shape of our fox. And again, down here, to get more color, if he is sitting down like this, it will be dark underneath him. And we'll put a little bit more, about medium gray, a little higher up on that tail from the bottom. Because he is sitting down, and it is not as much light hitting down there, so we'll put a little bit more color right there. A little more color. Now also, the fact that he's down here, it's going to kind of maybe extend me out a little ground line there, a little ground line here. If you want to do all, you can do all kinds of things. You want to put some little weeds, whatever you want to put with him. It's kind of up to you on that. To add to the composition. If you want to put something like that real quick, you can put like a little berries, leaves, whatever you want to put. Kind of up to you on that. 
and I'm getting short on time, so. A little bit, now my background, not taking a lot of time with that. Most of the time, with the fox. Take your time with this, again, draw at your own pace. When you get done, sign it in the lower right corner. Put 20 underneath that. Send it to me on Live Grades, on Facebook. Whichever one you want to use, you can send it to me through Facebook Messenger, Live Grades, or look at it, or, or even in the groups if you have to. That'll be it for today. Take your time with this, enjoy it, be safe. Thank you.